Just a video on these tees that I designed, these golf tees. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, I just wanted to play around with the tee and design one, and uh, I ended up designing a, a pretty <clears throat> nice looking one, a pretty good one. Uh, that actually uh, has some reason and, and reasoning behind it. Uh, has like this uh, crown shape that I put into it. You can see here uh, comes out and then goes in and then comes out quickly. Uh, then has this concave on uh, this. Uh, I measured out the size of a standard golf ball and uh, I counted for that in the degrees of of my my fillet and chamfer inside here. Uh, so very little friction. Uh, if you look closely, you can see the ball isn't touching on very much of anything at all. Uh, there's very few surface area of ball touch and uh, the tee. So that's, that means there's going to be less friction. Uh, and if there's less friction, uh, the ball is going to leave the tee uh, a lot faster, a lot better. Uh, and if you look, you can see how this comes out on a quick, uh, uh, whatever you would call it, quick contour, and then comes out again. So when you take your driver, your club, it's going to be at an angle of what ten, what ten point five, nine point five, whatever. Uh, it's going to hit the ball before it hits the tee, if you're dead on accurate. Uh, try to design it that way. Uh, I haven't taken it out to the range or anything and see if this tee is actually any good or if I get any, I don't know, distance gains. It's, I'm not Callaway or <laughs> or any of those engineers. I'm just a, a designer. But it's a, it's a pretty cool tee. And, and this is uh, six millimeters in diameter here. Uh, it's it's actually pretty strong. Uh, if, you, if you print it in ABS, uh, how I printed it was just like ridiculous amount of shells. I, I set my shells to like five, six, seven uh, shells. What I did was I put a hole through the center, a hollow hole, uh, so that adds more shells, adds more strength. It's 100% it's infill. This takes, uh, with the way I printed it with all those shells uh, at 0.1 millimeter resolution, it takes like 50 minutes. It's, it's not long. Uh, and like I said, I haven't tested it yet, but I'm pretty sure uh, just being around printing and knowing the tensile strength and structure strength of ABS and PLA, uh, that these will uh, stand up to a few wax. Uh, you might even get through a front nine uh, with the same tee if, if, of course, you don't forget to pick it up or, or you forget to pick it up and leave it at the, leave it where you teed off. But, uh, yeah, try it out. It's uh, pretty awesome. Set it up for dual extrusion, but you can also do single extrusion. Uh, yeah. Uh, decided to call it the Royal T because of the crown shape, and uh, that's what I'm going with. Uh, hope